If I was to do this at home, like what are kind of the basic things I would need to actually like, make my shoes look like this? The most important thing for you to have uh, would be three things. It would be a clean cloth okay. to just wipe the shoe off a little bit. We all have old toothbrushes. Absolutely. These are great to just go in in the hard to reach places. Or you can start endeavoring into actual color polish. I remember sitting there with my grandfather and he'd sit there with his thing and we'd sit there and he played the dominoes or something while they're shining shoes and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I see all the different colors. I see like a light brown, I see a dark brown, I see this. How do I know the uh, polish to yeah, go yeah, with yeah. the shoe? Every brand makes a different shade for the different name that they determine for okay. the shoe. Or what I recommend you to do is to bring the shoes to the shop. Okay. We'll pair you with the right color to pick, gotcha. right? Because okay. we are the experts and we have a full range of everything. Now, rule, man, what the hell is all this? I feel like it's the shoes of like little Dutch children. What, what's happening yeah. here, man? These are known in my world as last. It is the solid form, which should be the copy off your feet. Okay. We're gonna make the shoe around this. We're gonna wrap this okay. to make the shoes. So the last is the one that determines the sizing of your shoes. Like what are some styles of shoes that people actually kind of do wear? There are a certain basics. You have two different styles of lace-up shoes okay. in general. And what are those? The shoe that we shine for you today, it's considered in my world the derby. The way that the laces open, uh -huh. it's so much more like think of a vest that you would open up. Okay. and have the laces. Uh -huh. And then there is the classic Oxford that the piece comes over and there's just a slit here. I think this is a very common thing I think we all do is like we have a really nice pair of shoes at home that we have, some very nice dress shoes. They got old, they got worn down, mm -hmm. the soles out, and we just chuck them. A visit to the cobbler will get you new soles, new heels in your shoes, which basically puts you right back to where you need to be. You do a good shine and then they get going. This is where the shoes this is where the... All the repairs the, go down. Yeah. There's no elves about to pop out and like... No, they work at night. They work at night. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. You're not like a big dress shoe guy, but like you spent like, you know, like you waited like in line eight days to get these two Jordans. The yeah, like to get these shoes. Can somebody bring them into a cobbler to get looked at? Absolutely. There's nothing better to clean sneakers than a good leather soap uh -huh. on a terry cloth and a scrub.